Hi guys, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. I am Nicole. Uh, this is going to be a video for Aries for mid-March to the end of March. Timing is fluid though, please remember that. Um, Aries, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Cross watchers, if that is you, um, please discern the messages accordingly. Remember that roles can be reversed. Um, I am available for personal readings and that information is found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page so you can reach out to me uh, that way through the email that is listed. Um, all right, Aries, I was doing some meditating um, before I started your reading and um, I'm curious, you're very much showing me that emperor energy bossing up, standing into your power. Um, so we're going to see what comes out for you guys and just kind of go with that. Um, it was just, it was, they didn't really give me a lot of words. It was very, um, very much a feeling attached to you guys of what you're trying to accomplish at this time. I feel like this is probably going to be work related kind of thing, what you're working on around you. So Aries, let's see what's going on for you guys mid-month. Um, all right, there they are. Creating cooperation. All right, let's see. Aries, the three cards, releasing expectations. Only the highest possibilities come to be whether I envision them or not. So with that, releasing expectations. Um, Spirit just said that in time, you'll see your fruitions come to light. So I'm not sure what, ex you know, well, I do know. But it's like when we release that space of like needing to know, wanting to know, having to see how it works out in the end, um, open yourself up to not sitting in that space at this time. Just letting things be in flow. Um, I feel like there's just certain messages that I constantly repeat to you guys and I probably sound like a broken record, but there's a reason they come back through the way that they do. Um, They're also saying don't tie yourself to anything that is not for you. Um, so if you're finding in work that um, something isn't quite, it's not being as fluid as you wanted it to be or expected it to be, um, you may be heading in the wrong direction. Um, so it should just happen on a natural state of flow for you if you're pushing too hard or if it feels like you're constantly met with obstacles um, maybe start to place your, your energy somewhere else, okay? Resolving anger. Conflict reminds me when I need more space for myself. So yeah, if you're, again, if you're being met with um, some pushback, some resistance, um, pay attention to that. If it's, if it's frustrating you, if it's causing you more conflict than it's doing you good, you need to, you need to reevaluate that situation at this time. Invoking self-realization. Scorpio had this. Leo had this. You may be dealing with one of those. Um, each breath confirms how awake I already am. I feel like with this card for you guys, um, you may have kind of veered off your path somehow. Um, and this is needing to take you back. You need to go back to the place of your, self of se your sense of self. There we go. Got it out. Um, because it's like... You may have built up to something thinking it was going to turn out a certain way. Um, for meeting, you know, you're being met with some frustration with the situation. It's time to go back to self. It's time to go back to a balanced energy within you. Um, recognizing um, spirit is saying traits, habits, and patterns as well. Okay. I think you guys are off to a good start. And that's, that's what's interesting to me about this, the way the energy is coming through is you're like, you're off to a very good start on something. Um, there's like a need for some tweaking as to what it is that you're working on or who you're working with. Um, but in this creating cooperation, I'm gonna look at this one too. More gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play. Are you, you know, I talked about that. I seen that emperor energy uh, when I was meditating and it's like, are you taking on too much? Are you burning yourself out? Allow other people to step into the position that they're supposed to play, especially if this relates to work. Everybody's got to pitch in and pitch in and do their part. Um, don't don't put all your eggs in one basket as well, because I kind of feel like it's like is the sun setting and rising on what it is that you alone are doing. Okay, 
Um, so yeah, let's let's see what the Sacred Geometry deck has here for you guys. Four Aries, please spirit for mid March. <clears throat> I'm gonna take two of these, I guess. Throat chakra, the frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our self sense of peace and balance. Are you communicating clearly? There may have been recently a change to the level of communication or how communication was coming out. Um, the way I laid this out here with, with releasing expectations and resolving anger. Uh, make sure that you're addressing things from an appropriate place as well. Um, be cautious with your words and how you're communicating. Um, you may, it's interesting, they're saying that you may want to hold back, but in the same space, um, communicating what you want, what your needs are, what your what your ideas are. Uh, 19, delight, which breaks down to a 10, which is also an ending and a beginning, 10 and one. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience experienced feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we invoke in others. That invoking self-realization that lays there with, with resolving anger, releasing any anger, releasing any tension that you're dealing with at this time as well. Um, find, again, what feels good, what is not so damn hard to, to, to move through, because if you're being met with resistance, there's a reason. So don't force your will to control an outcome of something go back to the space of the self where you feel good and the more you feel good and you also think about it too spirit is bringing up the fact that like if you if you come into work and you're angry that is what you're projecting out to everybody around you so then they may get defensive they may get angry and they may be coming in with the same set ideas when it comes to communicating with you at this time as well so pay attention to what frequency you are vibrating on um, because if you're coming into a space of delight and joy and feeling good about things um, and, it, and um, giving attention to the things that are working out and staying in that positive mindset, um, other people are going to in, feel invoked by that, right? And they're going to step into the same light. So some people may just be meeting you where you are right now. And so it's time to take a look at where you're coming from and are they meeting you there or is this something external as well? Um, I think that's very important to pay attention to at this time for you guys. All right, we're going to get these out. Coherence. Coherence is working together, creating stable foundations, hostilities. I do, I feel like you guys are kind of bouncing back and forth in your emotions, your thought processes. Um, make sure that how you're communicating with another person isn't, um, isn't super heavy. It isn't money driven make sure you're working it just feels like you're walking away from that heart space more than anything that you're not you're coming more from a, a logical sense than you are from an emotional sense of paying attention to the feeling um and that eight to me too with the way this come out is also reiterating to me <clears throat> that what you're putting out there is what you're getting back in return so um you don't always have to be strong and, and boss like uh, in any situation surrounding you, um, it's going to be what you show, you know what I mean? So, um, let the fog clear, get a clear understanding of where you're coming from. Is there other things under the surface that are bothering you at this time that are creating a little bit of conflict, uh, where it doesn't need to be? That seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, um, again, another five there changing, going back to the intuitive side and the wisdom that you've acquired over time as well. Um, being loyal to your ideas, your thoughts and beliefs, but without self-sabotaging it in the process too. Um, and then action, we're moving into Aries season, right? So action oriented, envy, uh, looking out, seeing the glass is half empty rather than half full, but also understanding that, you know, you know how to put the work in to get to where you're going. I feel like for some of you, you may feel like you're a little stuck right now somehow as we move into your season. Five and eights are going to be very important too. Eight is that infinite journey. It's always cycling back around, right? Um, but you start off with an eight, go to a five and back to an eight. So it's going to be change that's going to have to take place to move you forward. But it's also, I think it's going to be a, a change of perspective, a change of the mindset, a change of where your energy is. You may just be feeling overworked, tired, frustrated right now. And that's creating this, this off vibe or lack of better words, as you're moving through things. It's like, whatever's not working, let it go. 
All right. I got the hiccups. I'm sorry. Goodness. All right. Let's see. Hostilities. What is hostilities about the Aries? Please, Spirit. What is hostility? Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. The High Priestess in Reverse. Yeah, you're not, you're not in touch with uh, your intuition. You may be feeling like something is... You're not seeing the full picture. You're not hearing everything. Um, so it it could be my stomach is growling. What is going on? You guys, are you hungry? Are we tired? Are we exhausted? Um, are we not taking care of ourselves? The way my body is feeling with your reading. When I did Leo's, I was like a nervous wreck. And now with this one, um, you guys got my body is like, whew, what are we doing here? Um, there's a desire, and I'm gonna call it a hunger, a hunger of desire for things that are fulfilling for you, emotionally fulfilling, new new beginnings, you know, that, that Ace of Pentacles, that's a seed of growth. You plant that seed. Um, it's free will what you do with that. You're always offered these new beginnings, these new ideas, these new ways of doing things, new stability, new emotional sense. Um, but it's what you're doing with it. But the problem with it is, is that you're not touching into that, that intuitive knowing. Right, and it's like you're not listening to the higher self. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, as we move into your season, your emotions may be coming into play very significantly in relation to something. Um, you may feel like you're also in a space of needing to defend what it is that you already have created, but I feel like you're you might be a little out of touch with how how connected you are to it. You may feel disconnected from the things that are important to you right now because of other challenges and conflicts surrounding you at this time. There, God, the High Priestess for me, Spirit. Um, Five of Swords and the King of Wands. Um, that same combination, again, came out with Leo's reading in, in Aries. You know, that can be you with the King of Wands as well. Um, you guys are very much in the thought and communication process as we go through this week with a lot of astrological shifts occurring right now and signs moving or planetary alignments moving into different signs moving into Aries season we've got the spring equinox we've got Pluto getting ready to move into Aquarius um Saturn I can't remember what's going on with it exactly but we have all of these things shifting right now and it has a lot to do with truth it has a lot to do with communication if we're finding the courage and the strength to move into that but we also need to be listening to our higher selves at this time as well Aries um, it's almost like you're creating a, 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 a lack mindset um, but then trying to kind of bury it subdue it through action rather than paying attention to your intuition as to where this is coming from and why you're even in it to begin with at this time all right for the seventh chakra, our crown chakra, which is our connection to the divine, right? The need to connect with spirit. Six of wands in reverse. You may be coming to some realizations potentially about yourself that you're not happy with at this time, or you're seeing yourself um, kind of regressing or, you know, needing to take a step back at this time to collect your thoughts, to collect with your intuitive voice. The four of wands in reverse. Cheese and crackers, guys. What is going on here? <sighs> the eight of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you feel like everything that you're going through is tending to just kind of, you know, I'm going to call it flipping upside down, literally. Um, that you feel like there's no progression. Understand that when we start into this state of self-realization, the falsified ideas and pretenses that we've had about ourselves or what we thought was victorious and su successful, where we thought we were making forward movement, where we thought we had firm foundations, where we thought we had put the work in, spirit is coming in and saying to you, you've done what you needed to do in this last cycle. Now we're opening up a new cycle to move you forward. Now it's time to dig even deeper. And I feel like for some of you, it's very hard to get into that emotional sense because you felt like you reached a a pivotal moment of success right but now you're starting over and it's almost like questioning everything that you thought you knew about yourself to step into a new higher awareness and it's like you're back to ground zero um, and that's okay I know that can feel very heavy been there I know exactly what that's like but I will say this to you you're working I almost feel like you guys are working through a cycle very quickly like you're you're going like a two-week period it's hitting you 
you're getting it really, you're like stepping into it very quickly, and then the next thing is happening, right? And then it's like, shit, I'm right back to where I started from. This is ridiculous, but it's okay. You're getting tough lessons really quickly right now. Um, and it's going to move you forward. Yeah, it's like, you know, you got the Tower and the Two of Pentacles there. Um, it's going to be about how you choose to handle handle this. You know, to you, these might feel like tower moments. They may, may feel like, whoa. But what it's doing is asking you to examine these different parts of yourself. And it's happening a lot faster, I think, than you anticipated. Or could even, you know, begin to see. So it's not, again, it's not a bad thing. It's just happening quickly and it's hard for your mind to wrap around. It's like, I just was on this side in this, in this beauty and this light. And now I'm back in the dark again. And it's, it's, it can be very frustrating, you know? So what is this about for Aries? Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, Spirit is saying third party deal. I don't know what the third party deal means to you. It can be various things. Um, where maybe there was a collaboration of something that you thought was going to work out is now beginning to fall through as well. So again, sending you back to the self. High Priestess, here's the thing. I said to you earlier, you're not listening to your higher self. You knew this. Walking into this, you knew there was going to be a chance that it wasn't going to work out. There was an awareness, something within the gut said, this may not work out to your better benefit, but you chose to take a, a gamble on it anyhow. Um, you didn't listen to your higher self, the moon. Now it's bringing feelings to, to the surface. And here's part of this, is that when you knew you had this this realization when your intuitive nature was speaking to you and you're like yeah hell let's just go with it and see what happens that created this tower moment this that has created this this space but even if it's extremely uncomfortable for you right now it did this to open you up emotionally to make you have to take a look at these emotions this situation or whatever this is and each one of you it'll be different you're now it's requiring you to take a deeper look at the self, that self-realization of understanding a different perspective on how it is that you are operating internally so that you don't repeat this. And once you work through this, you are going to move forward. But this is just like, I'm going to call it a really quick lesson. There you go. Once you get that perspective change, that six of wands is success and victory. You're going to get to move past this and it's going to be, it's going to be a good thing. Um, but there's something you need to come to terms with right now. Um, and understand how this works. That three of pentacles in reverse, you, be, you may be making choices to work on things by yourself uh, moving forward or being more cautious with who it is that you're investing your time, energy, and time, energy, and effort into that nine of wands or nine of swords in reverse with the devil. Um, choosing to keep this these situations at a distance. If you're seeing toxic energies around you, seeing these patterns, seeing the role that you play, it may be time to say, okay, I'm taking a step back, moving away from this, keeping these things in people's situations, whatever this might be at a distance, uh, because it has created conflict. Uh, but again, it was supposed to be a lesson for you right now. So don't get upset with yourself um, for not seeing it clearly to begin with, but in the same time, yeah, it's completing. It's completing. I said you're closing out cycles a little faster right now. And this can be part of that timeline shift that we were experiencing. Um, everything got pushed full speed ahead. So you're going through these lessons a little faster. And yes, it may be rocking you to the core sometimes in certain situations. But it's not meant to break you. It's meant to teach you so that you can move forward with this different perspective. That Ten of Swords in reverse you may see people trying to come back in, which would not be the least bit surprising to me as we move through this week. Some old past energies kind of circling back around, but this time you see it differently. You're not going to take the same action that you have in the past. You're going to do it very differently and move forward on, on, on an easier plane to your wish fulfillment, healing, the lovers, you know, choices, partnerships, love offers, the four of cups. You're going you're gonna to slow down this time around. Whatever this cycle is that's changing, uh, you're going to slow down this time around and do it differently. And I like that for you guys um, because you had to learn. You had to learn a very valuable lesson here in the law. Spirit keeps saying two weeks, two-week cycles. 
you had to learn something in the last two weeks that you weren't seeing before or you seen it and you, you turned a blind eye to it. Um, so now it's like spirit is saying hunkering down, pulling your energy back into you, not letting it get carried away, not getting frustrated anymore, learning that lesson. Lesson learned, right? Move it on. And let's clarify this envy. What is this envy? The Empress. Ugh, my nose has been itching. Let's see. The Empress. I don't I refer to her as Aries though too for me. Strength card, Leo in reverse, Father of Cups, that could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. I see it. Mm, it just depends. I'm getting Scorpio from that. So you may have Scorpio in your chart. You may have Leo in your chart. You may be dealing with one or the other. A lot of Aries energy for me, anyhow, as a reader on the table. You got some Capricorn and Pisces as well. Um, this Envy. Huh. Hold on a second. King of Wands. This is envy about spirit. Clarify. Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's too many. What do we got here? Six of Pentacles. Judgment, Four of Pentacles. I feel like you guys just have a lot going on right now, really. I mean, it's like you're going 70 miles an hour in 52 different directions, burning it at both ends. really feel like that envy is you guys right now be happy with the things that you have and I think that's very important right now is to focus on what you have rather than what you don't have at this time um, nurture what it is that you have give to what it is that you have be clear about how you got to where you are right now you know eight of pentacles makes me happier again I just said about nurturing what you well, you know what you've already done and it's just like you f I feel like you feel defeated in these new beginnings I feel like you feel possibly defeated in love or what it is that you're nurturing um letting go of what hasn't worked so maybe you need to refocus and take a new direction you know that mother of swords or the queen of swords with that eight of pentacles she knows damn well what she's working towards she's very smart about what she's doing she's very strategic about what she's doing and when she's in that space of working to go from that eight to the ten of pentacles there's there's that eight of, of wands fast forward communication like you're gonna like i said earlier and i figured the eight of wands was going to come out eventually and there it is this movement is going to happen once you figure this out that you've got to go back to i won't even say the basics but what it is that you were working on to begin with somewhere in there you got sidetracked with something whether it was outside situations being in competition you know whatever it was it's back to the self here realizing how you play a role in that and how you change that up so that you can move forward a very very fast i'm telling you ace of pentacles it's coming guys it's coming you're letting go of that five of swords letting go of father of pentacles in reverse stepping into the ace of pentacles it's a new cycle that's opening up um for you and it's going to serve you very well as long as you're okay to sit with the self-actualization, the self-realizations of things for what they are and your part in it and how it is that you move away from this to not do it again. Relationship cards, Aries. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And I think it's across the board, whether it's relationships or anything like that. Trust that what is meant for you is going to come in for you. Um, <clears throat> If you have to second guess it, if you're doubting it, that's not having full-fledged trust into something, right? Or into somebody else, if you're doubting their their um, their feelings towards you, romantic feelings. Um, your feelings are worth, are real and worth exploring as well. So if you're investing into something when it comes to love, and the codependency card keeps sticking out at the bottom there, um, make sure that the relationships that you're having with other people that it's not an unequal balance of give and take and that that envy I could see that too I feel like across the board for you guys it's kind of like that two of pentacles energy like there's the bad and there's the good there's the bad and there's the good right um 
you're going to have to look at the big picture because something is trying to close out for you that's going to change things. Um, and then you're going to be able to take forward, forward action, forward movement, moving forward. So, hard. Ooh, free yourself. Yeah, whatever these situations are that are keeping you stuck in this toxic pattern, um, it's time to let those go. Uh, free yourself. It's time to take control back of your, or it is time to take back control of your life. God, if I could talk today. Um, stay optimistic about, and I, I feel like this isn't even so much love related as it is even with these love cards, but love is not just romantic partnership. Love is also giving love to ourselves. So free yourself of these things that have made you feel confined, that feel like they've stuck restrictions and boundaries on you right now, and stay optimistic about the direction in which you're headed. If it feels heavy, if it doesn't feel right, you know it's time to move away from that and step into something new, Aries. Um, you get back on your, your course, um, eliminating these distractions, it's off to the races for you guys. It really is. You've got a lot of positive energy coming in. I think it's just working through these, these shifts and these cycles right now. It's going to take you into forward momentum. Um, but you're also going to have to make sure that you understand the lesson of maybe what was what was not working for you, not trusting yourself, not you know making some careless mistakes in the sense that you were willing to just see what happened, you know. Um, but now it's not about seeing what what's happened. You kind of let everybody do their thing around you, seeing how it it you know transpired. It turned out to be a bunch of shit. Uh, so now it's like okay now. I've got to step back up. I've sat back long enough. I've got to step back up and take control of the situation without an expectation, right? Like not coming in, taking control in, an, in a abrupt, heavy kind of way, just knowing that your direction is what you do have control over and you're willing to step back into that role and take that on, right? So Aries, that's your end of the month reading for you guys. I hope you do. I hope you all are doing well. Um, take great care of yourselves. Again, if you found this video resonated for you, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done so. Um, again, personal reading. If you want to dive into something a little more, uh, email is in the description box below and the about section of the page as well. Um, I wish you guys the best day ever. Always I'm sending you love and light, and I will see you soon and on the next one. Bye bye.